Hello and welcome to the first ever uh, Radio Sega video review for me, um, or from me rather. My name's Gavi and we're reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System. So let's crack straight on, shall we? Um, the first thing you'll notice here, Sonic is looking rather primitive. He looks absolutely massive compared to the motorbugs. Um, complete absence of any animals. Um, but, at least you're getting um, the rings spinning, which is always good. Uh, ironically, this is the only level in, uh, in the Mass System game that is exactly the same as the first one, uh, the Mega Drive one. All of the others are completely different. Um, you've got Bridge Zone. Uh, oh no, you do have a Scrap Brain Zone. My apologies. Anyway, this is a uh, funny little glitch. It's not going to let us do it now. No. Nope. We uh, didn't quite go far enough, so let's, let's go back and just follow that, shall we? For the, uh, for the lols here. If you um, kind of... I don't know why. If you kind of catch this ramp at full speed, as you'll notice, we've now decided to shoot through the level ridiculously fast. And uh, the next time we see Sonic, he's at the end of the level. There he is, look. Hello. And we're going to get ourselves a nice little... Like, ooh, we have a bonus stage. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a uh, Dr. Robotnik, actually. But never mind, we'll take it. Um, so this is what a special stage consists of. Um, when we get there. If this sounds at all familiar, you'll know that uh, I remix this as part of... Um, Oh, come on, Sonic, you can do it. Anyway, the, the whole point of the um, the special stages here, as you can see, you've got a timer. Um, the general gist was that you were to collect the continues. There are some rings that say... So, no Chaos Emeralds to, um, to collect in the uh, Master System special stages. And we will... I don't know why you got the skidding noise there, because Sonic never touches the ground apart from here. In which point he's going to see Robotnik anyway. There he is, look. Dr. Robotnik with his mean, calculating blue eyes. Um, so yes, obviously, if, if you've not quite figured by now, this differs an awful lot from the, um, the Mega Drive game. I mean, the, the special stages. Obviously, here's your map. Um, the special stages don't contain Chaos Emeralds, and why don't they contain Chaos Emeralds? Well, we'll show you, ladies and gentlemen, because you'll find... Oh, there's Sonic tripping over nothing at all. Now getting his epic shield here, which makes him almost invisible. Um, you will soon find... Oops. That uh, the Chaos Emeralds, uh, Chaos Emeralds are actually hidden in the levels. Which um, certainly means that you have to explore the levels to actually find them. Um, later Sonic games, or rather Sonic 2 would continue this, um, but Sonic Chaos would, would go back to the sensible route of, um, of forcing you, or not, not forcing you, but allowing you to collect Chaos Emeralds in the, uh, in the levels, now, uh, in the special stages, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, if you will forgive me, we'll uh, we'll go find ourselves Chaos Emerald. Uh, now you, you will have to bear with me here because it has been a while since um, I've partaken in some Sonic 2, uh, in some Sonic on the Mass System. So I do believe there it is. Look, ready? Listen to this. Yes. Um, it's also kind of strange. I think this was the, the earliest you ever saw Sonic in water. I mean, obviously, in the Mega Drive, you had to wait all the way to the blasted Labyrinth Zone before you actually got a chance of him being in any water. Um, but uh, even then, you know, even from these early days, you could kind of tell water wasn't going to be Sonic's friend. Um, what we'll do is we'll take you all the way up to the... Take you up to the first boss, and then uh, basically see uh, see where we go from there. Um, 
Some other little tidbits about Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System. Obviously, Dr. Robotnik is prevalent in every level, as in the Mega Drive version, um, in his range of dastardly traps. Um, also, a bit like how the Mega Drive version differs um, from the Master System version, um, none of Robotnik's bosses are actually uh, featured in the... Uh, in the Master System version, there's all different bosses. Oh, there's a, an extra life if you can get it. No, I don't think we'll get that. We'll leave that alone. Um, even to the point where some of the bosses in the Master System version are actually better than the, the Mega Drive ones. I mean, for example, the, um, the Labyrinth Zone boss uh, is completely... is an actual boss as opposed to chasing him through a water. Um, through... You know, like a, a water passageway as he tries to make his escape. Oops, we skipped the map too early. Um, also, something of note in... I don't think we can quite see it here. In the... Um, oh, now, which jump is it? It's that one. There we are. Um, in each mega dr in each boss level, there's an extra life hidden somewhere for some reason. Um, although quite why you need the extra life in this level is beyond me. Although, as I'm sure we're about to find out, I will now die. Um... Also, look at the... Here we are. This is, this is Dr. Eggman, or Dr. Robotnik, as he's affectionately known. Now, if you ever happen to play the Game Gear version, you'd find this boss ridiculously easy, because, due to the reduced size of the screen, you could actually jump up and hit him while he was flying around. Um, also, something of note... Uh, oops. Yep, there we go. Told you I'd die. Um, <laughs> also, something of note, you have no rings in this level. Um... So, do bear that in mind. Oh, no, the uh, extra life's only there the once. Um, do that, bear that in mind that it is one hit kills, which um, hopefully if I ever get the chance to show you uh, Sonic 2, you'll uh, you'll see what I'm talking about, because there is, there is one um, boss there that is ridiculously hard. Also, let's, uh, let's have one more go at beating uh, Dr. Robotnik here. Also, something of note, take a look at his shoes. It's uh, Sonic's shoes, this is. Robotnik is clearly red, and Sonic's shoes are clearly brown. So for all the people whinging about the fact that Sonic has green eyes, I think you... Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd love to point out that he had brown shoes first. So, um... Direct all your complaints to Sega over that one. They started trolling you all the way back in 1991 before Sonic could even become the, uh, the character we all know and love. Now, come on, uh, come on, Robotnik, you know you want to die here. There we go, look. Yay! Round of applause. And... Then you, then you, uh... This is the only bit in the game where you actually see some animals. There they go, all those joyous rabbits. So, right, what would I, um... What would I give this, uh, this game... Well, this delightful game. It's the first Sonic I played, so naturally I'm going to be a bit biased. Um, and we'll, we'll finish with some Bridgestone. I won't play, though. Um, it's basically... Well, it's the first Sonic game I played, so naturally it's going to have a, a lot of love on my part. Um, but in the end... Yeah, don't tap your foot. I'm almost finished. Uh, in the end, Sonic 1 on the Master System is an absolute blast to play. Uh, it does get quite hard towards the end, Sky Base Zone being a, a particular low light. Um, but if you can actually get that far and, uh, and then defeat the resulting boss, you'll you kind of enjoy how you got there. The uh, game itself probably takes you... Well, if it took you two hours, you'd probably be going a bit too slow. Uh, I'd say about an hour and a half, um, including trying to uh, collect all of the Chaos Emeralds. Um, yeah, a lot of fun to be had. It's better than Sonic 2, uh, only marginally, but not quite as good as Sonic Chaos. Uh, Sonic Chaos was amazing. Anyway, um, my name's been Gavi, and this has been the first ever video review that I've done for Radio Sega on YouTube, hopefully not the last, and um, if you've got anything that you want me to tackle, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do for you. And uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>